but um definitely sore um definitely sore but you know season's over um so now it's time to you know get healthy rest up and you know because when you uh look at last year championship season obviously um, and compared to this year, what are the differences you saw in just the way the team was able to navigate the season last year versus this year? Um, I feel like last year we were just maybe a little bit more together, you know. Um, we, maybe a little bit more just consistent, whether it's on the road, you know. <clears throat> So like we kind of had an older team last year also, too. Um, but I feel like this year we still had the team, you know, to do something special, you know. But every year is not a year. Um, but I'm sure we'll be back. You said last year's team was a little bit more together. Um, why do you think it was different this time around? Um, I mean, together, it's like I was gone for, I was gone for a long time. I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of injuries this year. Um, that's, that's it. I don't, I don't mean like together, like people don't like each other. I just mean like I was away for a while. There's a lot of injuries. Um, so we never really got the chance to just, you know. I know you haven't had a lot of time since the game yesterday, but when you look at the big picture of this season, this was probably one of your more, it was one of your more tumultuous seasons. Um, it seemed like every time you had a big game, something happened. You had your big game in December, then you hurt your adductor. You had a big game, and then you had your leave. And then you had your big game in this series, and then you injure your ribcage. How, how do you just – what is just kind of your reflection of this season, and how would you assess how it all played out? Um, it was just up and down, up and down most of the season. Um, you know, if it wasn't one thing, it was another. Um, but overall, you know, I've, we still did some good things this season. Um, and I feel like the future is bright, you know, for this organization and all the players. So I'm still excited for it. Andrew, following up on Maddie's question, I mean, last year you were an Ironman. You played all 82. You kind of revitalized your career since, since arriving here. How frustrating on a personal level was it to not be able to consistently play and have all these long absences really for the first time in, in your career yeah no it was definitely frustrating you know not being out there with your team um you know because that's where you want to be and um you know that just feels like the right place to be whether you're, you're injured or you know just away from the game you know um, I always missed it, and I was always excited to come back. And then quickly, just how much pain were you in last night, you know, playing that game, going up against LeBron nearly every possession? How, how are you feeling last Yeah, night? it wasn't easy. I mean, it hurt uh, for sure, especially because I know, you know, there's, there's a lot more banging than usual. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's part of the game. You know, it is what it is. It's now just time to heal up and get healthy. With your rib, as far as healing up and getting healthy, what's the next steps there? Um, just let it heal. That's just rest. Just rest. Okay. Yeah, let it heal. Yeah. And as far as, you know, talking about a younger team versus an older team, do you feel like some of the veteran voices as far as like an Otto, a Juan, et cetera, were missed a little bit this season? Um. Um, for sure. You know, it was just like, you know, when you when we got GP back, you know, all, all those guys played a huge piece in, you know, the championship run we had last year. And even this year, I mean, the young guys we have are talented, talented. And like I said, I still feel like we had enough to, to win the whole thing this year. It's just, you know, it wasn't in our favor. It's not our time. You know, that was it. But, you know, we had an older team last year and we had a young team this year, but talented team. You know, the young guys on our team stepped up, you know, in every way they could and, you know, did a good job this year. Andrew, along those lines, uh, Kavan said he still believes this 
group, some of this core group, has more to, to give, more to do, more to do on the big postseason stage. Um, do, do you think that that is the case? I mean, this, this uh, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's speaking of, oh, well, are they, are they done? <laughs> oh, no. I, I still feel that we have a lot to give. You know, I still feel like, you know, Steph, Dre, Clay, you know, Loon, myself, JP, you know, we still got, you know, a lot to give, and I still feel like the future is bright. Um, uh, can you just talk about the impact that Andre Godala had on you? I mean, this might be it for him, and uh, do you think, like, he would make a good coach? I know he has a million things going on, but do you feel like, uh, he, like him staying in the NBA in some capacity might might be something you could see? Yeah, his impact is huge. You know, he's a legend. You know, he's a legend. His, his impact is huge. His, his wisdom, his experience, I, you know, he shares with all of us. Like, you know, he's a real, like, if you can put, like, the perfect vet up there, that's, that's him. You know, he, he's really good at, you know, talking to the young guys. And his basketball IQ is, you know, out of this world. Um, so hopefully he sticks around basketball if he wants to. If not, you know, enjoy, you know, whatever you want to enjoy because, you know, he's had a hell of a career. Um, and like I said, he's a legend. We all watch, you know, we, all, we know how good Jordan can be. We saw a lot of it last season. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't see as much of it this season. You you know you you and Jordan are pretty close. You how did, how do you think he navigated all the drama that was around this season with him? Um, I feel like he did a good job of it. You know, I feel like he did a great job of it. You know, he he worked hard. He competed. Um, he's he's always coachable. You know, and he's someone that the whole team likes to be around. Um, so I feel like he did a great job. Andrew Alex Simon from Bay Area News Group. It seemed like a lot of the players who talked down in LA last night and even Steve really emphasized the fact that they knew what pain you were going through, but you still went out and gave that effort. I, I guess when you hear that from players who have you've won a title with, but have, you know, maybe been at the top of the NBA, just is that validating to you in any way that yeah, it hurt to play through it, but these guys now know that like I'm there with them? Um, for sure. You know, just I'm out there competing. I'm out there, I'm out there fighting with these guys. You know, because you know that's all bad. I want to win. I know they want to win just as bad. You know, and I know if the if the tables are turned. I'm sure they would do the same thing. You know, it's all about you know just wanting to win, just wanting to be out there and competing with my guys. 